we will continue our video lecture series on anatomy of digestive system. Today we will discuss about the anatomy of liver. Anatomy of liver. Basically the function of liver is to secrete the bile and various metabolic functions. For example, it uh, also functional in the absorption of food. It secretes the bile into small intestine for the absorption of food. The liver is weighed about 1600 grams in males and 1300 grams in females. If we talk about the uh, location of liver, first of all, we have uh, nine regions of abdomen. We have our right hypochondrium, uh, epigastrium, left hyp hypochondrium, umbilical region, L uh, lumbar region, our iliac region and pubic regions. The liver lies in the right hypochondrium, epigastrium and little bit uh, it across here uh, left uh, hypochondrium and the uh, half, half of the lumbar region. If we talk about the shape of liver, it is wedge shape as we can see here. This shape is called wedge shape. Uh, the liver have five surfaces and one prominent border in five surfaces we have our anterior surface superior surface posterior surface right lateral surface and inferior surface this is our anterior view of the liver and this is our posterior view of liver as we can see the surfaces this is our uh, superior surface this is our right surface this is our anterior surface and this is our inferior surface. As we know, we have only one border is prominent in the liver. That is our inferior border. And here, uh, if we see the liver in posteriorly, we can see the inferior vena cava from here. And we have uh, suprarenal impressions and we can see porta hepatis out there. And the inferior border uh, the anterior and inferior border both have uh, two notches one notch is interlobular notch uh, which is from the teres ligamentum uh, and the other is the cystic notch for the fundus of gallbladder as we can see uh, liver have liver is divided into two lobes uh, the right right lobe and the uh, left lobe uh, the right lobe is uh, greater in size it's almost uh, 80 to 85 percent of the liver till here and it uh, the right side and the left side of liver is uh, divided by the falciform ligament interiorly as we can see the falciform ligament present anteriorly and the superiorly and the fissure of ligamentum teres it presents inferiorly and the fissure of ligamenta, uh, ligamentum ven venosum is uh, present posteriorly. The two lobes of liver, we talk about the right liver and right lobe and left lobe. The right lobe is uh, bigger in size. It's almost 80 to 85% of the liver while the left side of the uh, liver uh, means left lobe is only one six of the liver it is near the fissure for the ligament uh, ligamentum venosum and its inferior surface have the uh, elevation which is called omental tuberosity now the right lobe is divided into two another lobes uh, the qu uh, quadrate lobe and the quadrant lobe the quadrate lobe uh, is present in the posterior surface and it has three boundaries. The quadrate lobe present in the our posterior surface. It has three boundaries. One is right boundary uh, where we can see the groove for uh, inferior vena cava. And our left boundary we can see fissure for the ligamentum venosum. And the in inferior boundary we can see porta hepatis. In our quadrant lobe we can see uh, it is present in the inferior surface and it is rectangular in shape it has uh, boundaries anterior boundary which presents in the inferior border and the posterior boundary which is present in the porta hepatis and the right boundary which is present near the fossa of gallbladder and the left boundary which is present in the fissure of ligamentum teres 
Relations of the liver. The most of area of uh, liver is covered by peritoneum, but the some parts of liver which are not uh, covered in peritoneums are our triangular bare area, our groove for inferior vena cava, the fossa of gallbladder, and the attachment of lesser omentum and the fissure for the attachment of the uh, ligamentum venosum. Thanks guys for watching. In next video we will discuss the anatomy of pancreas.